everybody, there's this cool city here in Haiti called Jacmel. It's a seaside town. It's known for its art scene. The problem is right now, it's really hard to get there by car because you have to go through kind of the main area where kidnapping is, is centered right now. There is supposedly a road that goes from the top of the mountain here outside Port-au-Prince. Everybody says the road is not the kind of road that you can take a car over it. So I'm just gonna go up and take a look and see what the condition of this road is. Uh, and kind of just an excuse to get up in the mountains too. It's gonna be beautiful. Let's go. <sighs> you smell that? That's fresh mountain air. Not in Port-au-Prince anymore. Everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am in uh, a place called Patientville right now, which is just outside of Port-au-Prince. I am heading up to the mountain to a place called Kenskoff and then on to Fursi. Uh, Google Maps says that there is a road that connects Fursi to a seaside village on the southern part of the island called Jacmel. Jacmel is a super cool place. Google Maps says there's a road. Now, when I talk to people, they say that the road is too kind of broken up and narrow. It's really more of a mountain path. It's not passable by car. Uh, they say it's a beautiful hike. They say you can do it by moto, although it's difficult, but they say it's not passable by car. Um, so I want to go up and take a look and see what the actual condition of the road is. Down here at the bottom, it is 80 degrees Fahrenheit. We're down here at the bottom of the mountain. We'll mark it down here. Here, we'll see what that temperature is when we get up to the top. It is just beautiful up here. I love getting out of work. left Kenskoff behind us. Now we're heading up the first seat. We're leaving the paved road behind us. Now it's dirt. I imagine it'll get quite a bit worse as we go. I've come quite a ways and I'm looking ahead here and we've got this road that goes over here and then I'm a little concerned right there. That spot there looks like it's got kind of a slant and I have heard stories of cars falling, sliding off the mountain and I'm a little bit worried about that being a spot where that could happen. So I'm parked here. I got a good spot here on the side. I'm parked and I'm going to take a, a little walk over there and see what it actually looks like. Okay, well, I think now that I'm over here and I see it, I think I can make it through. I was just talking to a moto driver that came by. He said, yeah, cars can go through, but he says they can't make it all the way to Jack Mill. So he says I can go a little bit further and after that the road gets too bad. So. I think I'll keep going a little bit and see what we got.
freaky. I'm not gonna lie. Pretty steep drop off there. Woo! Man, my heart is racing right now. All right, let's see how much further we can go. It looks like we might have hit the end of the road here. Came up to this village and this guy says I should turn around. He said this is about as far as I can go. So I'm gonna take a look. Bonsoir. It's confirmed. This is the end of the road for me. This I had a guy come through here on a Polaris. He made it down. He's my buddy here. This is the Magabase Kunyam Fini. Mabviri Maptune Porter Prince. That Polaris there is doing it. I'm gonna turn around, go back. This is the end of the road. I marked it on the map so I know where the end of the road actually is. They say they're gonna work on the road. They say they're out here, they're working on it. I saw an excavator out here a minute ago. It'd be really nice if they could fix this road and make it so you can go to Jacques Mel. What I'd love to do is get a Polaris. They say you can do it on a Polaris, no problem. Man, that'd be a lot of fun. Well, it's one o'clock and I get a little hungry. And there is a hotel. Hold on, it's too bouncy. Let me stop here for a second. Okay, there is a hotel up here called The Lodge, and I haven't been up here to that hotel since the coronavirus pandemic, since even before that. And I don't even know if the thing is still open, so I might take a ride over there. And uh, if it's open, maybe grab a cup of coffee and some lunch, and then head back down to Port-au-Prince. It's starting to rain here, so the road can be kind of treacherous, but so far I'm doing pretty good. Got the four-wheel drive on, I'm doing just fine. It's open. There are actually people here in the restaurant, and so I'm gonna get something to drink and then head back down. Well, I'm back down to Port-au-Prince. It is crazy down here. I'm stuck in some traffic right now. I'm also about 10 minutes away from being home. It was so nice up there. I definitely want to go back. I want to get a group together and go and make the hike from Fursi to Sagan. And some of you who are watching this channel are probably familiar with Haiti. If you have made that hike before, pop a little note down in the comments. Let me know how to go. Do you like it? How long did it take? Anything we should know? Um, want to get a group of folks together. We want to do that hike here pretty soon. So I think that would be a blast. So anyway, thanks again so much for hanging out. If you haven't subscribed already, subscribe to this channel. Press, press the like button. Really appreciate that. Appreciate you watching this. And we will see you in the next video. Future Luke here. I'm editing this right now. I actually shot this a couple weeks ago and just getting ready to edit it now. And since then, there are a couple expats who have tried to get from Patientville to Jacques Mel through the Fursey Road. And so it turns out that it is technically possible to do it in a car. Here's a guy uh, that posted in a thread. Uh, he did it in a Toyota Hilux. Now a Hilux is kind of like a, a beefed up version of a Tacoma. A Hilux is what we have here. They're not available in the States, but really cool Toyota pickup trucks. He said, uh, I asked him, what kind of issues did you run into? He said, many. <laughs> not really any road in many places driving on peak of mountain with vertical drops in both directions sliding rock with a hairpin turn at the bottom and if you didn't make it you're going off the side one place there was a road but it was too narrow for our Hilux paid locals to stack rocks for a couple hours just so we could drive across writing it makes me think how much I should not have done this <laughs> so uh, he did it in a pickup truck and sounds like he is still having some nightmares about that uh, and then another guy who just did it like last week in a four-wheeler he said yeah it's fine to do in a four-wheeler uh, took him about four hours to get there um, he said lots of parts of the trail have experienced landslides as you get closer to Seguin and the trail is covered in boulders and the path is narrow. He said, I would say anything bigger than an ATV would be nearly impossible to pass. So apparently it is in theory still possible, but certainly not advisable to do it. 
Um, if you're gonna do it, you need to have a four-wheeler or a, a Polaris or a side-by-side -side or something like that. Probably best to just do it as a hike and enjoy it.